Do you want to learn how to start your own Google Meet? If yes, please stick around and watch this video. Hello fellow teachers, I'm Elena. Welcome to my eClass Invites, a channel dedicated to educate, to explore, and to empower through my videos. Today, I'm sharing to you how to start or host your own Google Meet. This was requested to me by my co-teacher and I hope she's also watching right now. Let's get started. So to start your Google Meet, you need to open your Google Chrome browser, go to google.com, and sign in your account. So once you sign in your account and enter your password, Okay, so you are already signed in. Go to the address bar and type meet.google.com and press enter. So you are now on the Google Meet app. Let us first start an instant meeting. So in the new meeting button, click start an instant meeting. So your PC or laptop will detect the camera and microphone you are using. So let me just turn off the mic and the camera. So you can turn it back on once you've already joined or once the meeting has already started. So as you can see here in the address bar, a code was added in the address bar. So, this meeting link will be copied and you can share this to your participants, whether your students or your co-teachers, whomever you are having this instant meeting. So, since you are the host, okay, so it says here, meeting ready. Also, the meet link is here. You can copy-paste it share it with your participants then join now okay. so you can add the email addresses of your participants here okay but you can just close it because you have already shared the link with them so they are the ones who will just type in the meeting code once they want to join the so this is how you start an instant meeting. Let us then have a scheduled meeting. So let me just end this call. Return to home screen. New meeting button. And schedule in Google Calendar. When you click schedule in Google Calendar for scheduling uh, future meetings, so, a new tab appeared directed to your Google Calendar, but it is dated at the present day, so just close it. Then you can see here the calendar, so just click the day of your scheduled meeting. So, for example, you will have a meeting on September 18th. Just click 18. Then the timeline for that day will appear in this portion. So just click the time when you will start your meeting on September 18. For example, you will have it at 2 p.m. So click 2 p.m. Then add a title to your event or to your meeting. For example, demo teaching demo meeting then click this add google meet video conferencing so that you can have the link that you will share to your participants if you're using your basic gmail you can have up to 100 participants okay so just save this and there so you can already um, announce it to your uh, students or co-teachers so 
let's say for example it is already September 18 and you want to start the meeting. So just go back to your calendar, click the scheduled meeting and join. Click this button, join with Google Meet. So in like in instant meeting, you will be um, your device will detect your camera and your microphone. And as the host, you are the first to join. So no one else is here because you're the host. So join. So how do you know when participants are joining? So for example, you have already uh, distributed the meeting code with your participants. So just wait for them to appear in your screen. And you have the um, authority to deny or accept it, their um, joining. So here, um, you will see someone wants to join this meeting. If you know this person, you can admit. But if you are not familiar, you can deny entry. So it's up to you if you will email them ahead of time so you get familiar with their email addresses or their names. But you have the control. So admit. already your participant so that's how you will start or host your own Google Meet okay so that's how you create a Google Meet on your PC or laptop I hope you learned something new unfortunately the Google Meet app will only be free to use until September 30 but if you wish to continue using this app, you will be asked to upgrade to a G Suite Enterprise account. So let's take advantage of using it until such time that it won't be free anymore. If you like this video, please like, share. Please like, share, and subscribe. And don't forget to click the bell be notified of my future uploads. Thank you so much for watching and see you again on my next video.